the sun And which way the wind blows When this day is done Breathe, breathe in the air Set your intention Tomorrow's a new day for everyone Alright, we're just exiting that tunnel now That was quite amazing A brand new moon, a brand new sun Hello, and welcome to another Healing Hikes adventure Back for 2021 So I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year And as I said, we're back bigger and stronger for 2021 We've got drone footage We've got different ideas. We've got lots of overnight hikes coming up because I've got a brand new tent that I've purchased that's coming from Amazon from over from America. So as I mentioned, hikes a week's release, uh, hikes are released weekly, so enjoy them. Now, today we're doing Fort Nepean. So it's a whole military base on the point of Nepean in Mornington Peninsula, which stops Invaders coming in through Port Phillip Bay. On the opposite side is Queenscliff's Fort. So there's a big rip in the middle. It's surrounded by three different oceans. The Bass Strait, which connects Australia's mainland to Tasmania. And then we've got Port Phillip Bay, which is the entrance into Melbourne. And then you've got the Western Port Bay on the, on the western side. Now, there was live fire shot from here. And that was in 1914 and 1935 in both world wars. It was constructed in 1840 and there's over hundreds and metres of tunnels that we're going to be exploring, going underground. There's going to be coastal views and lookouts. Really quite amazing and I'm really excited. So I hope you're all well and happy hiking. Tunnel. I hope you can see that. Let's see where this goes. This is tunnel unexplored. I didn't know about this one. Same with the other one we found earlier. Okay. It's like a little room in there. Wow. There's no one here as well because I have to actually go off track to get to this one. viewing platform down there wow this is really cool I'll go stand in the center what does it say stand here and yell when the gun went off eardrums could burst for surround sound Coo okay wow yeah you can just imagine all the ammunition and the sound when one of these weapons went off protecting Victoria and Melbourne's mainland from invaders all right let's head down this other tunnel wow this is cool and that was to the walk of the deck. It must be a mirrored to the other side, a lamp passage. So this must go down deep into the earth and then pass light down to the bottom. Another one, equipment magazine. Never got my head around how they call ammunition and ammunition storage magazines and then new idea and women's weekly women magazines. Okay. Okay. 
there was a dead end. It's a bit like the labyrinth, the movie. All right, let's get back on the trail. That was very cool. So a lot of the beaches down here are no access. Now, a while back, Harold Holt, the old Prime Minister, or ex-Prime Minister of Australia, went missing. And I'm gonna show you the beach that that happened. So for days upon weeks, they had the search missions out looking for him, and they couldn't find him. So it's called Chevrot Beach, Chevrot Hill. So it's about a 550 meter walk from the main trail. So we're gonna go up there now, and I'll show you the ocean views. I forgot to mention earlier, I might have mentioned it, that this is just a grade three hike um, or walk, so it is great for family and friends. And it is because of the well-formed trails and even this handrail. Now there were some spots back earlier on the Paul Ra on the range track that were actually full of sand, so um, you've got to be really careful you're walking there. Oh. All right, so we've got an old lookout, sort of Gunner's little observation point. It's like a bunker here. So I'll give you the close-up look in here. So this is where they would have sat and looked out from for hours along their, on their post, day and night, and looked out to the ocean, to the Bass Strait here, and seen what was coming in, just waiting and anticipating for that final or first shot. You never know what you're going to stumble upon. Here's this awesome little tunnel. Let's get down into it and I'll show you. Oh, you can just imagine thousands of men all hiding under here as the war is going on up above. These tunnels, they go for hundreds upon hundreds of meters. And there's even one tunnel that goes all the way out to an island in the middle of the bay. Some magazine ammunition storage to South Channel Fort. Quite amazing. How awesome was that? That was so cool and so freaky. That you just pop out in the middle of nowhere. So don't take the main road because obviously that's not gonna give you the hiking experience. So turn right down the Eagle's Nest track and follow this for about a kilometre and we'll end up at Pierce Barracks overlooking the Port Phillip Bay and then we'll go towards Fort Nepean, the large fort. It's like an underground and out of ground castle. So it's probably about 15 metres long and as you can see there's little rooms coming off to each side. So this could have just been like a little storage room in here. It looks like a place where you might sign and check in for some ammunition. It's going to be beautiful views up here, I can just tell. And then 
Here's another little room. There's another sort of sign-in, check-in place. It's probably about five by five metres. This little window is cut in. Here's a place you could quickly grab your gear. And then we're coming out and that's where a cannon would have been placed. Beautiful. All right, let's get up here and have a look at the views. shot through the, from the drone of this road and where we're walking from north to south. our first fort that goes underground so you can imagine like roll carts carrying stuff so there's going to be a lot of these all right so we're coming up and here we have on the left some storage units so let's go have a look so there's really nothing interesting in there it's probably a two by two meter some stairs to get up and down Buried forts, it says here. All right, let's enter. So this is a oh, five, six meter room. Quite large in here. Could have been a registry. Let me go into here and there's another storage room. These holes in the wall, I imagine, would have had lanterns or lights in them. And there's some shelving on the walls there. I'm going to go down one of these tunnels here. Sorry about the camera moving, we are walking. It's another little... These could have been a sleeping quarters. Little... And this enters into a courtyard where I'm sure we can get to the other side. I'll film from there now. So this is the other side and you can see where the cannon installments would have been. So it's just up to where the firing and the gunners lookout is. And then this overlooks the Bass Strait. So any ships coming in or aircrafts, as there was live gunfire in World War II and World War I, 1914 and 1935. There's the rip. And I'll give you close-ups of the fort we're about to get to on the end and of that. And this is Port Phillip Bay. tunnels okay so down here gun emplacement tunnels so it's about 50 meters long 
can imagine all storage of ammunition there. Lights would have been here. One little room in here. A light cavity, as we mentioned earlier. And a way to move things up and down and throughout these tunnels. Bomb-proof room and observation. All right, let's go have a look in here. Hello, how are you going? It's a bomb-proof room. You feel pretty safe in here, don't you? Yeah. We've got the lanterns in the wall. All right. Some stairs to an observation, probably of the bay. So you can imagine resting your gun on here and looking out for anyone walking past and through. You can pass ammunition through these little holes or notes, ways to talk, a little light station there. All right, let's go back down these stairs. Thanks for your patience. All right, lucky these are ramps. So we did come from the left, so we're going to go right. All right, so that looks like a way out there, and this looks like we go deeper into the ground. So let's go down here. Some more ammunition and light storage. Getting really cold. This one's about 30 meters long. Okay, we'll stop here. Put some stairs up here. We go this way. And it looks like this is where a cannon sits, or did sit, and would shoot. So there was two shots fired, one in 1914 and one in 1935, one at a German freighter and a um, German fight, fighter plane. Okay, let's go back down through this way. Building these would have been quite amazing. Let's just have a quick look and see what's up here. Ah, uh, one of the cannons that we spoke about. We'll probably be, go back there later. Let's go back down to the tunnels. Snakes in area. Okay, back up we go. They all look the same. I feel like I've been in this one before. Okay, let's go right here. Lots of little wells down to the bottom here. So there's obviously different layers and levels. You can see all the way down to the bottom there. All right. Observation posts. Let's go left. Lots of little storage spots. Cartridge lift. You can hear footsteps of people, that's quite eerie. Okay. This is all overgrown here. All right. Let's get out of these tunnels and I'll show you some of the areas just around the tunnel and above ground. How cool was that? Thanks for coming through the walkthrough. I've never done a real walkthrough like that. All right, so we're just gonna weave our ways out of here now and back onto the trail. So we might go 
don't really know where to go. It's a bit of a rabbit warren. Ah, got some more tunnels. Let's go down this one. So, but the same thing, I'll go back to the way we were filming. All right, so we're back underground. This one's more like a mine. This is very cool. Go down that way. If anyone ever played Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation 1, this is what it reminds me of, walking through the Hitler bunkers, the Nazi bunkers. And that's a dead end. It's just so cool exploring. It's all new to me like it is to you. So we came in that way. Let's go down here. So we've got some stairs to go down. Let's keep being adventurous. Let's go down. I'm sure we're gonna have to come back up. I don't know where this is going though. So yeah, this was all built in 1840, like the quarantine station. And so they would have lifted stuff up from there. And it was used not only as a settlement, but is also a hospital for quarantine for people coming in and out of Melbourne, Victoria through the boats, big ships, ah, some beds, so sleeping quarters. No, actually ammunition by the looks of things. You pass it through there, as you can see this gentleman's doing. You've got to remember, when this started back in the 1800s, this would have been one of the biggest going around. No electricity in the 1800s. Very minimal support and the building conditions. And just to be able to do this underground in the big rock and sand, it's really quite amazing. Okay, so we're back on the other touring route now. All wrapped up in a silk bag. Different size charges are used depending on how far away the target is. This is so much fun exploring, so I definitely recommend coming to Fort Nepean and doing some adventuring and some history, even if it's with your school. All right, so it looks like this is all closed off to the public, but you can see a massive cannon would have been here. Okay, overlooking the bay. I'll give you shots of that via the drone. This way. Okay. And I think we're going back to the start. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, how cool is exploring these tunnels? standing at the rip the two points point on the Mornington Peninsula Fort Nepean and Queenscliff which is on the other side right here this is where the big cargo ships come in bringing all shipments into Melbourne Victoria and they go into Port Melbourne up north of the Port Phillip Bay absolutely breathtaking and just down here are some really cool rock pools
got these massive stair climbs at the moment. And these are about 50 meters high, I reckon. Imagine doing it with all your armor and all your gear and all your stuff you got to carry. They didn't have escalators back then or elevators, that's for sure. All right, we're about three quarters of the way up. Beautiful view. All right, we made it to the top. Pretty good time as well. Only about 20 seconds. So as I mentioned, this is about a 10 kilometer walk, but with all the exploring and climbing and all little tracks, there's one there, there's one there, and then there's another one there. It can add up a little bit. So make sure you've got a little small bit of fitness before you come and try anything new like this and do your research. So as I mentioned, live fire in World War One was actually shot on Australian land here at a German fire fighter plane. And this is the spot that where it happened. Massive air cannons. Let's go have a look. This is where the air cannon was that shot at that German fighter plane in 1914. And this is the view. you some drone footage of where we are right now. excited about is the Hamilton Island one so we're going up to the Great Barrier Reef and we're going up to the Whit Sundays where there's Hamilton Island and we're going to do some hikes on the island and around the Great Barrier Reef region so um, yeah, stay tuned for that one I'm not going to tell you when it's coming up but it will be coming up shortly After a couple kilometer walk, and there's actually even a car park here along the coast, you arrive at the quarantine station. So I'll give you a show of the, the buildings and the grounds and places you can have picnics with the family. And then, um, yeah, that should be about it.
as well as having the large picnic areas and lots of stuff to do, there's also an information centre, a coffee area and a place that you can just go and eat. There's also um, a market, I believe, here once a month, but um, due to COVID, which is happening in 2021, um, that's not happening, the market. But um, yeah, lots to do and lots to learn and see. That's the end of the hike. Thank you so much for watching. It really does mean the world. Remember to tune in next week as we're gonna go on a big hike, all the same, just as iconic, but even longer. 10 kilometers is normally the minimum that distance that we will do, and we will do overnighters for long, long periods of days. So I hope you're all well, and happy hiking. How beautiful is this hike? It literally has so much diverse flora and fauna. That's amazing. So I just ordered beef teriyaki from Chinese restaurant. Follow, follow the sun, and which way the wind blows when this day is done. Breathe, breathe in the air, set your intention. is gorgeous and it's such a tight squeeze like I'm not joking a lot of these spots to get through tomorrow's a new day for everyone a brand new moon and brand new sun Direction of love